What's up, friends and fellow wisdom seekers? How are you doing today? Welcome to the Brave New World Order podcast, straight out the dungeons of podcasting. I am Brandon Saint One, and thank you so much for joining me today as we continue our dive into the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Atlantean. And we are on tablet number nine. And if you're enjoying the Emerald Tablet series, as well as any of the Brave New World Order podcast episodes, please take a second to subscribe, to like, to share, leave a review on whatever platform you are listening. It really helps the show out. It helps get the word out there and get the show into the algorithms, the goddamn dreadful algorithm out there. So if you could help out the Brave New World Order, it also helps you. So if you subscribe, you can see when new episodes drop. So that would be great. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you really like the show and you want to help support it and help it grow, you can click the link in the show notes below. And I would be so grateful, forever grateful for that. And I am forever grateful for each and every one of you tuning in to these episodes and taking a minute, an hour, half hour, however long it ends up being to just dive into some different stuff that's out than what's out there in the mainstream media, you know. So that being said, I had my very first guest on the Brave New World Order podcast last week. And if you haven't checked that out, please take a minute to do so. His name was Micah Dank, and he came on dropping some knowledge about astrotheology. In fact, he went through a whole presentation, almost about an hour long, I barely had anything to ask because he just had so much to get out there and it was awesome. So take a minute and listen to that one if you want to check out some deep stuff about astro theology and how the Bible is really explaining the stars and it's a roadmap, it's a calendar, it's a farmer's almanac, all that stuff he went into. So check that one out and let me know what you think. I love some feedback. I love to know what you think about Micah. I'd love to have him back on the show for a part two. He has so much to talk about, and I would love to sit down again. I have some questions for him this time. It was kind of mind-blowing. It was the first time I had any guest on here, so it was a little bit exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time, but I'm glad that he came on with the wealth of knowledge and information that he does have. It was quite amazing, and I would love to have him on again. So let me know what you think about that episode and if you would love to have micah on again and hear part two of the intro to astro theology as well as maybe get into some other stuff so definitely check that one out and let me know what y'all think i know that the episode the interview itself was a little rough around the edges because i'm just kind of getting into the flow of things here it's my first time having anybody on the show but it's really not about me it's about the information and i think micah did great getting everything out in his first half of the presentation to intro to astro theology. So definitely check it out. I'm hoping to have more people on the show and I will improve every day, get better and better. So check that out and let me know. I love feedback and all that good stuff. So thank you for joining me. We are going to jump right into the Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean Tablet number nine. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Emerald Tablet Number 9 The Key to Freedom of Space List ye, O man, hear ye my voice, teaching of wisdom and light in this cycle, teaching ye how to banish the darkness, teaching ye how to bring light in thy life. Seek ye, O man, to find the great pathway that leads to eternal life as a son. Draw ye away from the veil of the darkness. Seek to become a light in the world. Make of thyself a vessel for light, a focus for the sun of this space. Lift thou thine eyes to the cosmos. Lift thou thine eyes to the light. Speak 
in the words of the dweller, the chant that calls down the light. Sing thou the song of freedom, sing thou the song of the soul. Create the high vibration that will make thee one with the whole. Blend all thyself with the cosmos, grow into one with the light. Be thou a channel of order, a pathway of law to the world. Thy light, O oh man, is the great light shining through the shadow of flesh. Free must thou rise from the darkness before thou art one with the light. Shadows of darkness surround thee. Life fills thee with its flow. But know, O oh man, thou must arise and forth thy body go. Far to the plains that surround thee and yet are one with thee too. Look all around thee, O oh man. See thine own light reflected. I, even in the darkness around thee, thine own light pours forth through the veil. Seek thou for wisdom always. Let not thine body betray. Keep in the path of the light wave. Shun thou the darkened way. Know thee that wisdom is lasting, existing since the all soul began, creating harmony from by the law that exists in the way. List ye, O man, to the teachings of wisdom. List to the voice that speaks of the pastime. I, I shall tell thee knowledge forgotten. Tell ye of wisdom hidden in pastime. Lost in the mist of darkness around me. Know ye, man, ye are the ultimate of all things. Only the knowledge of this is forgotten. Lost when man was cast into bondage, bound and fettered by the chains of the darkness. Long, long ago, I cast off my body, wandered I free through the vastness of ether, circled the angles that hold man in bondage. Know ye, O oh man, ye are only a spirit. The body is nothing, the soul is all. Let not your body be a fetter. Cast off the darkness and travel in light. Cast off your body, O oh man, and be free. Truly a light that is one with the light. When ye are free from the fetters of darkness, and travel in space as the sun of the light, then ye shall know that space is not boundless, but truly bounded by angles and curves. Know ye, O oh man, that all that exists is only an aspect of greater things yet to come. Matter is fluid and flows like a stream, constantly changing from one thing to another. When ye are free from the fetters of darkness and travel in space as the sun of the light, then ye shall know that space is not boundless, but truly bounded by angles and curves. Know ye, O man, that all that exists is only an aspect of greater things yet to come. Matter is fluid and flows like a stream, constantly changing from one thing to another. All through the ages has knowledge existed, never been changed, though buried in darkness, never been lost, though forgotten by man. Know ye that throughout the space that ye dwell in are others as great as your own, interlaced through the heart of your matter, yet separate in space of their own. Once, in a time long forgotten, I, Thoth, opened the doorway, penetrated into other spaces, and learned of the secrets concealed. Deep in the essence of matter are many mysteries concealed. Nine are the interlocked dimensions, and nine are the cycles of space. Nine are the diffusions of consciousness, 
and nine are the worlds within worlds. I, nine, are the lords of the cycles that come from above and below. Space is filled with concealed ones, for space is divided by time. Seek ye the key to the time space, and ye shall unlock the gate. Know ye that throughout the time space, consciousness surely exists. Though from our knowledge it is hidden, yet still forever exists. The key to the worlds within thee are found only within. For man is the gateway of mystery, and the key that is one with the one. Seek ye within the circle, use the word I shall give. Open the gateway within thee, and surely thou too shall live. Man, ye think that ye liveth, but know it is life within death. For as sure as ye are bound to your body, for you no life exists. Only the soul is space free, has life that is really a life. All else is only a bondage, a fetter from which to be free. Think not that man is earthborn, though come from the earth he may be. Man is light born spirit, but without knowing, he can never be free. Darkness surrounds the light born, darkness fetters the soul. Only the one who is seeking may ever hope to be free. Shadows around thee are falling, darkness fills all the space. Shine forth, O light of the man soul, fill thou the darkness of space. Ye are the sun of the great light, remember and ye shall be free. Stay not thou in the shadows, spring forth from the darkness of night. Light, let thy soul be, O sunborn, fill with glory of light. Freed from the bonds of the darkness, a soul that is one with the light. Thou art the key to all wisdom, within thee is all time and space. Live not in bondage to darkness, free thou thy light form from night. Great light that fills all the cosmos, flow thou fully to man. Make of his body a light torch that shall never be quenched among men. Long in the past sought I wisdom, knowledge not known to man. Far to the past I traveled into the space where time began. Sought I ever new knowledge to add to the wisdom I knew, yet only I found did the future hold the key to the wisdom I thought. Down to the holes of Amenti I journeyed, the greater knowledge to seek. Ask of thee, lords of the cycles, the way to the wisdom I sought. Ask the lords this question, where is all of source? Answered in tones that were mighty, the voice of the Lord of the Nine. Free thou thy soul from the body, and come forth with me to the light. Forth I came from my body, a glittering flame in the night. Stood I before the Lord, bathed in the fire of life. Seized was I then by a force, great beyond knowledge of man. Cast was I to the abyss, through spaces unknown to man. Saw I the moldings of order from the chaos and angles of night. Saw I the light spring from the order and heard the voice of the light. Saw I the flame of the abyss casting forth order and light. Saw order spring out of chaos. Saw light giving forth life. Then heard I the voice Hear thou and understand, the flame is the source of all things, containing all things in potentiality. The order that sent forth light is the word, and from the word come life and the existence of all. And again spoke the voice saying, The life in thee is the word. Find thou the life within thee, and have powers to use of the word. 
Long I watched the light flame, pouring forth from the essence of fire, realizing that life but order, and the man is one with the fire. Back I came to my body, stood again with the nine, listened to the voice of the cycles, vibrate with powers they spoke. Know ye, O Thoth, that life is but the word of the fire. The life forth ye seek before thee is but the word in the world as a fire. Seek ye the path to the word and powers shall surely be thine. Then ask I of the nine, O Lord, show me the path. Give the path to the wisdom. Show me the way to the word. Answered me then the Lord of the nine. Through order ye shall find the way. Saw ye that the word came from chaos. Saw ye that light came from fire. Look in thy life for this order. Balance and order thy life. Quell all the chaos of the emotions, and thou shalt have order in life. Order brought forth from chaos will bring thee the word of the source. Will thee the power of cycles and make of thy soul a force that free will extend through the ages, a perfect sun from the source. Listened I to the voice and deep thanked the words in my heart. Forever have I sought for order that I might draw on the word. Know ye that he who attains it must ever in order be for use of the word though this order has never and can never be. Take ye these words, O man, as part of thy life, let them be. Seek thee to conquer this order, and one with the word thou shalt be. Put forth thy effort in gaining light on the pathway of life. Seek to be one with the sun. Seek to be solely the light. Hold thou thy thought on the oneness of light with the body of man. Know that all is order from chaos, born into light. That was the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, that Atlantean Emerald Tablet number nine, the key to freedom of space. And I hope that you really enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed putting that all together. I hope you enjoy the music. I've been dabbling around adding just a little bit something different to it. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear some feedback about the Emerald Tablets, as well as about any episodes that I'm doing on the Brave New World Order podcast. So you can reach out to me, email me, the Brave New World Order podcast at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter, DM, say what's up, at Brave NWO podcast. And if you really want to help the show and support it, you can click the link in the show notes below and help support the show and see it grow. And I would be so thankful forever in debt to you, my great listeners. So I hope you enjoyed the Emerald Tablets. I really love diving into this hermetic philosophy that I've been diving into lately. If you haven't checked out the Kybalion, I did two episodes on that. Pretty much just read the book, split it up into two episodes. I hope you check it out and it resonates with you like it does with me. I love this stuff. I hope you do too. So let me know if you are enjoying when I break away from the current events. I know I haven't done one in a couple weeks. I'm just kind of sitting back, not staring into the abyss. I'm trying a little more positivity, but I still want to be aware I'm going to do some more current event episodes. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. Subscribe to the show so you know when I drop new episodes. Because there are many more to come. There's no shortage of topics to discuss out there. There's always something to dive into. And I plan on doing it. So thanks again so much for joining me. I am Brandon St. One. This is the Brave New World Order podcast. And I will be back shortly. I'm probably going to drop a current events episode within the next couple days. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you soon. And in the meantime, stay positive. First and foremost, do whatever you can for yourself. Take care of yourself to stay positive. Get outside, spend time with your family, your friends, whatever you like doing, 
whatever keeps you grounded, whatever keeps you happy, make sure you take the time out of your day to do that. So stay positive, think for yourself, and definitely question everything. Much love. Peace out.